Hello everyone, I'm Bill, and I know how to use one of Shotcut's most artistic filters, Sketch. I'm going to quickly show you how to use it. It's simple to do and can give you some very interesting effects. For this tutorial, you should already know how to use Shotcut somewhat. And if you don't, I check the description for my starter tutorial. That will get you up to speed very quickly. I've already opened up Shotcut and pulled in the clip I'm going to use. This is just a little NASCAR clip with a little crash going on. And we're going to add the filter to it. So you want to click on filters, click the plus button, and we're going to do a search for it. It's called Sketch. Go ahead and click that. And you can see immediately what this does for you. It kind of turns the video into line art, and it's a very interesting all by itself. There are some options that you can change. You can change the line width. You can change the line height. And you see you get different effects with that. You can change the contrast. This will increase the number of lines in the video itself. So it gets can get very dense. Normally, I pretty much leave it at the default there when I'm messing with it. And you can also add color. Now the color is kind of washed out, looks like uh, kind of a watercolor painting if you do it that way. But it's a very interesting effect. And I like it quite a bit. And you can just apply sketch to do this to any of your videos and any clips you have and it'll look nice. However, there's some other things you can do with it that will give you some interesting effects. Let's go ahead and Go to the track, we'll add a video track. I'm just gonna copy this one already. And we're gonna paste it on top. I'm gonna line them up so they're synced. And I'm just gonna take, take rid of the front part of this one. I'm gonna uncheck the sketch on this one. And you can see what happens when you go from one to another. Very very kind of interesting there and I'm gonna get rid of the color on here for now looking at that oops I unchecked the wrong one there we go let's get rid of the color off of that that option there so we get this effect and one of the nifty things you can do with this is if you add another filter and we're gonna search for opacity we're going to add that one. You can change how much this does so it bleeds through. And this actually gives you a much truer live color because some of the background is actually bleeding through. I actually like that better than the color option in and of sketch. And you just lay it on top of the other one and you get that. Very cool look. One other thing you can do, I'm going to uncheck opacity here. And we're going to add one other filter. And this one's going to be the chroma key filter. And we're just going to do chroma key simple. And you hit that little stopper right there and go find a white bit on the, the screen and click on that. And now if you look at it, you've got the original colors and the line there. And that is very nifty looking. You can transition it just like you would any other clip. Let's go ahead and add one more. And fade in is in my video. And I'm just going to do it about three seconds. We'll adjust opacity instead. And then let's look at the clip. All righty. Very cool. At least I think so. That's how you use can use Sketch. This will give you some ideas, some ways to manipulate it, and I hope you enjoy that. So go out, experiment for yourself, see what you can come up with. I'm Bill. Y'all be good. Take care now.